So, like I said in my previous um, tutorial, there's another problem that JAM students are facing, and that is the fact that when they want to log into their profile, they realize that the email they have on their JAM printout is not the correct email. Maybe the spelling was not correct, or a letter was left out, or a number was not added. So many scenarios. Some other people, immediately after they register, they now realize maybe they wrote down the email for the person that is registering the jam and the person entered the wrong email, maybe by oversight or whatever it is. And another thing is some people, for whatever reason, they just start jam registration without confirming the email. So they now decide to write whatever comes to their mind and tell you to go and open or to go and create um, an email to match it. That is very, very wrong. The person that wants to register your jam must first of all confirm that your email is working. The least the person should do or can do is to ask you if that email is active. But if the mistake has already been done in today's tutorial they are supposed to give you a password either you choose the person that registering you will give you a chance will give you the opportunity to, to pick your password or they will decide what they want to use for the password there are so many things that they use for password some people are pretty consistent what they do is they can say jam 2020 or they say one two three four five six seven eight or some one two three four five six so maybe we use your name so may use your, your your date of birth maybe 12th of um, September 1999 or whatever so they will use your email or they pick an email then they'll pick a password for you normally when they register you they're supposed to give you the password so then your email your email becomes becomes your username while your password is decided by you or the person that is registering you or the center there are some centers that use one to eight they are consistent right from the beginning that's what they use so they don't have to start cramming the email the password or whatever so once you registered in that place you know that your password is one to eight there are some other ones depending on the year they if they are like this year they use them um, jam 2020 Last year they used Jam 2019 and and something like that, or they they pick your surname, maybe they say um, Etim 2002, or they pick anything. So what they do is, this thing now becomes your profile information. The email is your profile password. I mean your profile username. Profile username. That's the email. And then your profile password is whatever they choose for you. In my previous um, tutorial, I showed how you can get this password back. If your email, if you have access to your email, you can just log in and then you search for jump profile in the search box. You can go back to that tutorial and click to see what I'm seeing. So, but 
in this tutorial, if your email is not correct, maybe they, 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 they give you wrong email. Instead of, if you have a working email, for instance, please pay attention carefully. You have a working email, and then they give you, they use the wrong email for you. Maybe they, they, they didn't spell it well, or they skipped a number at the end of the mail, or whatever. What you do is that your email is still working. You have a working email. Your email is still working, but what you have on your jam, um, sleep is not correct. Your first option is to go to jam office and lay a complaint. Maybe they can fix it. But up to date, I've not known anybody that has successfully changed a wrong email. I don't know, maybe in the future they will do it. But what you have to do, number one, if you find yourself in such a situation, is um, since your email is still working, anytime you want to access your jam profile you have to use the wrong email it doesn't sound nice but that is how it is you use the wrong email it doesn't affect your email your email is still working you have your email you have the password but whenever you want to log in to your jam profile even though the email they use for is not correct but that is what the computer knows that is what the jam profile has recorded for you so you have to log it in and remember the password now there's something you need to note if you cannot remember the password then there's no way you can go to your email to retrieve it because what you have is not correct they are going to send the email to the wrong email meaning that you won't get it so what you do is you go back to the CBT center to retrieve your profile password. But if they gave it to you or you had the opportunity to choose your, um, your own profile password, then you just log it in and keep using it like that. Someone may ask, what is the implication? The implication is not so much. The only thing is, when you register with the correct email, they will send your profile password to you. That's the only thing. That is the only thing they will send to you. They will send your profile password to you if you have a working email. And if you, if you do change of an institution, correction, whatever you do on Remita, they will always send the receipt to your email. What happens is that if you have a wrong, if you give a wrong email or your, your email was wrongly spelled, what happens is that the, user, the password for your profile will not be sent to you because the email is not correct. And whenever you make payment on your, inside your jam profile, you will not get a notification in your email because the email is wrong. So that's it. But if you have the password, the profile password, you log in and um, continue using it like that. Like 98 or 99% of what you are going to do during your admission processing is going to be done in your profile. So that's where you should concentrate in. Your email does not really play so much. It's just for you to get notification. Starting with the jam. Um, profile password and other receipts that they'll be sending to you. That's it. So now, when you want to register for your oh. jam, you have the opportunity to, to, to now change it to the correct email. Because when you are, when you are registering for your jam, depending on the school, they give you the opportunity to enter your email. Some other schools might not give you that opportunity they just pick everything from jam but if you are lucky enough to register on those schools that allow you to put enter all your information afresh you have the opportunity to correct your email now another thing i want you to note um is that if you are given a wrong email you can 
go to either Gmail or Yahoo, depending on the, the wrong mail, you go there and create an email to match what you have on your jam slip. But sometimes you might not be that lucky because um, when you try to create an email that matches what you have on your jam slip, sometimes it's already used. Somebody is already using that mail. So if you are in that category, you don't need to kill yourself. You don't need to overflog yourself. Like I said earlier, it's just receipts that you get in your mail and the jam and profile password. That's, that's all. They are not sending any sensitive information to your email. So I hope um, this video helps to calm you down at least. But if you are still not okay, you can then head to jam office, you know, report and um, maybe they can do something for you. Hopefully that will help. So I wish you all the best and um, I wish you a successful um, jam and um, admission process. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Click like and share.